everybody. I came here all the way from Wisconsin. We are halfway yeah. This is uh, Papa Uma Wana. Yeah, yeah, it's good. This is an original of mine. That's a Zydeco song. It's called Zydeco Go. against Ronald Reagan. But then I wrote the rest of it, mainly the second verse, in 2012, right after that uh, horrible school shooting in Connecticut. And it wasn't so much about that hideous act. It was the US Congress at that time, in 2012, failing to pass gun control. So this song, it glances over that and uh, obviously we're not there yet but uh, it's cool those kids those kids from down there those kids are definitely cool okay enough enough talk every time I talk I get to do one less song but anyway it's a message thing so it goes like this is called uh, grid greed lock <laughs> Congress can't make up its mind. Underneath it all, you'll find 
the way for super tankers. The economy is in retreat. The middle class is in defeat. The ones that got all the money, they're the ones whose days are sunny. Whoa! where it happened. I'm not going to name the name of the place or even the name of the town or anything. To quote, to quote our president, where the, the town where this happened is just another shithole town. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so uh, this is for uh, Jeff and Reed, both, because they were uh, there that night and saw it happen. And it's been happening since then at some of those places. All in the same town, which is, goes unnamed. So this is called uh, Offie. single, self-produced and all that, called Airplay. I recorded it in 1981, released it in 1982. Haven't done this in quite a while, this one.
Thank you. One. Another original. I wrote this one on March 1st, 1975 in a Motel 6 in Marin County, California. Somewhere between San Anselmo and San Rafael. Uh, and it's called Fast Car. And it's about the energy crisis of 1975 when we had gas lines for the first time in our lifetime. They had it back in the war, back, you know, like World War II. But that's not our time, M most of us. Fast Car from 1975. <laughs> Thank you. 
This one's called Light and Up. This 
one, next one is called Lion King. But it's spelled like lion. Like telling lies. Lion King. And guess who it's about? Elvis. Almost, almost. The, uh, the ant, it's about the anti Elvis. No, no. It's the Lion King. Uh, I don't know what, there might be one or two of you here that this might just offend. Too bad. Instrumental. What, what was it? It was going to be Boogie Woogie by Albert Ammons, oh. the piano king from 1936, which was the original rock and roll. He taught all the New Orleans cats. I'm not going to name all them, you know who it is. So I'm going to skip that. I'm going to go right to a cover that I'm going to sing. And that's just perfect. I got just enough beer left to drown that last song. This is by a recording artist that sometime in the 70s he was in a big time studio that had a studio A, B, and C, you know, a big, big time recording studio. And the Stones happened to be in one of the other rooms. And you would think that he would be like starstruck and want to meet the Stones and all that shit. But instead, he locked the door and he was afraid they were going to cop his riffs and lyrics. He was like protective of his own material. So rather than being starstruck by the Stones, he was like, you know what I mean, like locked the door of his studio so they couldn't overhear his stuff and, and steal it. So anyway, this is a, a cover by his group. A few of you might recognize this. Happiness is a guarantee It would make all 
feel it? Could you feel it? Okay. Tell me who that recording artist was. Okay. See that? That was Iggy of the Stooges, Raw Power. The title track of that album from like 1973. Maybe the hardest rockin' album of all time. Cheers to y'all. I love you. Cheers! Yeah. CDs. I got CDs. All that hour and an hour. That's a $10 CD. Grab it while you can. Here's Adam. Thank <laughs> you.